Hey everybody, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you some projects that I've been working on. Uh, these are gonna go to a friend. It's just gonna be some happy mail. And I'm really into the whole pastel Christmas this year. So of course, it's all pastel goodness. And I did use some of the Santa Baby collection as well. And you know, I've just been having fun creating a couple things. So let me share with you what I've been making. So let me get these moved and then I'll go one by one. All right, so. I started off with making these cute Santas and I just love the way that these turned out. These are the Tim Holtz St. Nick um, die and I've had this in my stash for a couple of years and I actually have never played with it. So I had a lot of fun making this cute pastel Christmas Santa. He's so adorable. I started off with heavyweight chipboard, of course, to make it nice and sturdy. And then I cut it out, um, each of the pieces using different color cardstock. I used white for, you know, all the white areas, pink for his hat, and a flesh color for his face. And uh, he just, I love him. He's so adorable. So what I did here is I wanted to give him a lot of texture and uh, dimension and just have fun with it, you know what I mean? Give it a more realistic look. So I used that stuffing that you use for doll making, you know, like to stuff a teddy bear. And I have a ton of it. So um, I used some glue to, on my pieces and then adhered uh, the uh, the stuffing to it. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, fiber fill, I think it's what it's called, the correct term. So once I did that, of course, it's gonna get real fuzzy and lumpy. So I took some scissors, cut along all of my edges and gave him a trim like on top and you know, make it nice and even. And I did that on everywhere that you see white, even his eyebrows. And I, it, just, it adds a lot of texture. So it's really, really fun to work with. And then I took some spray adhesive like Elmer's. I sprayed everything and then sprinkled glitter on top. So you can see how he sparkles. And it just adds like the perfect touch of magic. It is so beautiful, especially in person. It, this does not do it justice at all. So everything turned out really, really cute. I gave him some rosy cheeks, you know, put all my pieces together. I used some white acrylic paint along the edges to give it like a snowy look. Um, I used my Copic just along the edges to give a detail on the leaves. And then a couple of rhinestones up here for the, um, the berries. And look how lovely it looks. The chipboard adds a lot of dimension and so does the fiber fill. It is just absolutely perfect. So I did have fun with him. So I decided to make a classic uh, Santa one too. So for this one, I switched it up and just used a traditional red and green. And he turned out just as cute. I love him so much. He'll be so perfect on like a favor, even as a gift hopper. Um, and you know, the focal point of a card, he's just adorable. So I worked on those and then I decided to make um, these cute little bags. These are just the tiny little bags I've picked up at Tuesday morning, looks like this. And they're super tiny, but for this one I did, I kept it simple and just added a bow with a pearl. And basically I just stuffed it with some mini pom-poms that I'm gonna be gifting in like cute little pastel colors. You can also use sequin mixes and small like beads, charms, things like that. So even though it's small, it makes for a cute little little gift okay and then uh, let me see I made some embellishments the first ones were these really cute wreaths and for this I used the movers and shapers by Tim Holtz it's the wreath the mini wreath it looks like this and it comes with a cute little bow so I cut it out with heavyweight cardstock uh, and then some colored cardstock I think about three times just to give them a little bit of thickness and then I inked all my edges. I added cute pearls as ornaments in different sizes. And then the glitter cardstock um, bows, they're just perfect. They're like the cute little, you know, it just tops everything off. So adorable. For my packaging, I used an embossing folder by Anna Griffin to emboss this white cardstock. And look how beautiful that looks. I love the detail. For my topper, I used the Santa Baby Collection. I cut out a strip of paper, folded it over, and then a smaller strip up here. This is one of the ephemera pieces. I added some beautiful crochet lace down at the bottom and then added some cute little snowflake sequin bits for my stash. And it's really, really simple, but it just it's just perfect. I absolutely love the way this one turned out. And then I also made uh, these cute gift tags. And these are ornaments, so they're so perfect. I use the Santa Baby collection, some silver foiled paper, and of course that rose glitter cardstock that's so beautiful. And these are from, let's see, it's a Sizzix die called Ornaments Number no. Two. And it looks like this, you guys. So it comes in all the different pieces. 
And again, I used heavyweight cardstock and the pattern paper, uh, layered all my pieces together, inked my edges. I used these little cute buttons from Hobby Lobby. I just cut off the shanks. They're like a pearlized white. They're so beautiful. For my packaging, I used pink cardstock and embossed it with a polka dot embossing folder. And these are supposed to be tags, so on the back they are stamped to and from. I added some baker twine, uh, baker's twine up here. And then these are snowflake ornaments from Michaels. I just took off the string and adhered them on here with just a small glue dot. So, you know, it could be included in my packaging. And then I added these cute little foam beads down at the bottom. So they just kind of, you know, shake around and stuff. So this one's really simple, but I like the way this one turned out as well. And let's see what else did I work on. I also made these cute lanterns and these are adorable you guys they turned out so so cute this is also a die by Tim Holtz it is called the mini lantern and it is super cute I paper pieced it together I did cut it out two or three times again to give it more stability the white part here the lantern piece I ran it through with an, uh, my machine with an embossing folder that added this really pretty flourish detail it is just perfect this is a little bow for my stash. Uh, again, I used the pretty blue glitter paper and that rose glitter paper. I topped every little bow off with a small pearl. And then the leaves are from the Tim Holtz uh, Holiday Greens, I think, the mini greens. I inked all of my edges with, of my leaves and I layered them on there and then topped it off with a bow and then added some cute little pearls down at the bottom of each of the lanterns. And look how cute they are. They're so, so cute. The pattern paper in the background is of course Santa Baby. And then my topper is also Santa Baby Collection. And then I used this strip here because I like the rose foiling, you know, it's so beautiful. And then I topped it off with one of the snowflake ornaments, a little um, bobble with a large pearl in the center. And it's very simple, basic, uh, you know, packaging, but it's the embellishment that really sets it off. I didn't want to take away from that. So I made those. And then I made this really cute bag um, using the Santa Baby collection. Look how pretty this turned out. I love this little guy. And because I love the paper so much, I didn't want to embellish it too much. So all I did is I added some of these foam beads up here with some glue, just like a little cluster of snowballs. And this is from an alley die. It says Believe, and I cut it out using the rose gold glitter paper or rose glitter, and then added some snowflakes. Um, and it's just it's so cute. It's like just the right amount of detail, I think. I didn't want to take away from him. He is just so cute. So this is just really like a little envelope, like a little pocket. It has some washi tape, you just open it up. And inside is one of those sheet masks. So I thought this would be really cute to include with my Happy Mail, really cute. And then I made this little bag here. It's just a glassine bag. I used a polka dot embossing folder and ran it through my machine. I have these little glittered corner pieces and these are um, from this die right here that I had picked up a Tuesday morning and I added them to the corner just for some detail. I made the little clothespin, it's just like a bare wood clothespin, but I added a strip of that glitter paper on there, made a cute little bow and added a pearl. And this just basically holds the little acetate piece. It's not adhered or anything, but I absolutely love this little Santa piece. And I thought he would be really, really cute. That way the recipient can reuse it any way that they like. So, and inside is my memory dex card. So really cute and simple. I absolutely love it. And then with my Happy Meal, I'm gonna include one of these little cute suckers because it just goes so well with the Santa Baby collection. So those are my projects, you guys. I've been uh, having a lot of fun crafting. Um, hopefully I have more time because I'm actually kind of, um, I don't know, I've just been really, really busy. I haven't crafted in a few days. So I'm kind of hoping I have this weekend to craft. So. Those are my projects for today. Hope you enjoyed them. Let me know what you think, you guys. I really love to hear your comments. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful week. And I'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody.